Hi to all of you Showmax viewers over there. My name is Nobile Nunu Kumalo. I am an actress and I play the character of Lucy Kambule in Red Ink. Lucy Kambule is a, a publicist and uh, she has a history in journalism, which is her actual passion. But you know, life leads you along many different roads. We see the journalist come back for a purpose which she's not sure she should pursue, but um, that is the universe of Red Ink, which you will be introduced to. There's many things that help me get into character, but um, if I were to think quickly right now, it's immersing myself into the mind and the heart of the woman that I'm playing. And in Lucy's case, that is journalism, that is an interest and an investment in serial killers, one in particular in this story, and getting myself into the mind frame of being an investigative journalist of that kind. So I'd have to explore and cover other journalists that have had similar journeys, research their experiences with it, research serial killers themselves, get to know victims, survivors, families of victims, and um, surround myself in information, knowledge, and um, human experience related to the character. I don't believe I fully get out of character until I rap, so I, 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 can't, I can't pretend to know how to do that. Um, I'll shed the character when I wrap the project. Um, Right now we're on set, um, we're covered in blood and scars and um, half of Lucy is probably speaking right now. So <laughs> apologies for that. It is all consuming. Yeah, it's, it's not a light, it's not a light story, um, a light narrative to, to be involved in. Yeah, it's not something you can just put on and take off like a jacket. Not at all, yeah. One thing I can hope for, um, for people to experience with this story is having the opportunity and taking the opportunity to open their hearts to the root causes of some of the issues that we have in this country. I mean, we've had serial killers in this country and we have I can call it a, a pandemic of, of, of femicide and gender-based violence. But one of my directors said something very important the other day. He said, there are no bad seeds, only bad cultivators. So when we look deeper into the story of a serial killer and we explore his upbringing and his experience from birth from childhood we can understand that no one is born a serial killer I don't believe that and that circumstances and responses and your character play a big part in which road you take in life and unfortunately in this case this character, this human being, went down a particular path. But it's important for us to, in trying to solve, deal with, remedy, prevent femicide and gender-based violence, violence of any kind, we need to learn that it starts with raising children in love it starts with protecting and respecting children from their childhood in order for them to have a hope of a bright and dignified future. We need to give them a chance to make it. Um, we have high unemployment in this country. We have violence, which is top five in the world. But all of these things come from somewhere and we need to deal with where they come from. There are no bad seeds, only bad cultivators. I've watched some stuff recently, um, Showmax produced, and I must say my current 
favorite, I'm watching a few things, but my current favorite has to be uh, the second season of Damn. I love that series. What is on my vision board for 2024? I would love to shoot in different countries. Um, I love, I love uh, working and traveling. So I, if I could combine those two, it would be amazing. But I, I think I have the same, the same general vision each year um, for now, which is I, I would love to work with the best people in each department on every set. As, as much as possible. I just want to work with the best in the industry and bring my best and, and just see what happens, see, see what we can create. Um, it's beautiful when those, when those things come together.